Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to speak about one of my favourite experimental tips, which I refer to as plugin artifacting. And this initially came about when I started to notice that my plugins would produce all kinds of artifacts if I adjusted parameters within them too quickly in real time, or when I cycled through presets for example whilst the music was playing back. And doing these things would produce both pitch and timing artifacts that often sounded quite nice. And so I started to make use of these happy accidents by utilising it in my music wherever possible. So I've loaded up a melody I created using Spitfire Audio's music box, which is taken from their labs range. Uh, this is entirely free from their website. And first of all, let me play you the original drive progression on its own before going into the processing. So the plugin I chose here in order to create artifacts is the Replica Delay from Native Instruments. And it'll be up to you to discover which of your plugins are capable of creating these artifacts by trying some of the things I'm about to show you. But I do know that many in the Native Instruments range work for me, as well as plugins from Sound Toys. So basically what I've done here is create fast automated automation changes in a particular parameter within the plugin. And it's what Native Instruments have referred to as the quality parameter, which is essentially supposed to change the fidelity of the delay signal. So naturally it's not a parameter that many would think of automating, and so it produces very distinct pitch and timing artifacts whenever you do move it around. So let me just show you the automation clip on the playlist, and then we'll turn the plugin on, and you'll see it being adjusted accordingly. So this is the clip that I've created. And here's how that sounds. Now of course you can take things as far as you want after this, so let's just go through some of the various effects I've used to enhance the sound, beginning with a module I've used within Reactor to apply an amalgam of effects such as amp simulation, chorus and phasing. Next up I've added a Valhalla Vintage Verb to enhance the atmosphere, and I've opted for a more modulated algorithm, which is a favourite of mine, titled Random Space. Uh, it's already quite a busy sound, and so I kept the decay time relatively short, and have applied a generous amount of both low and high cuts to the reverb signal to prevent it to, from becoming too overpowering. <laughs> And next up we have a fab filter, low pass filter, which gradually sweeps in just as a way to create further variation in the sound over time. And this is the automation clip for it right here. Now we also have some other forms of artifacting here that is heard whenever the progression reaches bar 8. Uh, this is the point at which I've automated the master tempo, and as you'll hear in just a moment it produces further pitch artifacting and of course time and variation also. So let's play that as well, and I'll just solo the music box out.
I'll just play it back from bar seven one more time. So something like that does tend to sound a little disorientating when played in isolation, but techniques like this can be utilised during transition points in the song if you want to experiment with something similar. Now to give you an idea of how this all sounds in context, let me play the full track back to you and keep an ear out for the music box working with the artefacts in the chorus in particular and at various other points. Alright, so I hope you found this tip useful, and I'd encourage you to go and experiment with your plugin library to see if you can discover which of your tools will produce artifacts like those we've just discussed. And just bear in mind that these artifacts will come in all forms of results, so they won't be limited to just pitch and timing issues. For example, I've had plugins create strange kind of glitch-like effects from using these techniques, so just keep an ear out whilst you're working and see what works. So thanks very much for watching, and take care. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.